Hi, I'm Jason, and in this Tech Tips video, I wanted to show you a few different methods for boxing in or strengthening up your channel. The first method we've talked about before, and it's essentially just using some standoffs. These are 1.32 inch long standoffs, which fits inside of our channel perfectly. It's an economical and easy way to add some rigidity to your channel. Next up, we have some dual side mount E's, which have a channel pattern mounted to it, giving you a nice uh, boxed in channel. Um, so that's going to add strength as well and adds a nice sleek look to it. But it's also easy to take uh, these four screws and remove that, that channel pattern um, to access the insides and then put it back on when you're done. So it's a nice and convenient uh, method. It's boxed in more than this is, but it still gives you that quick and easy access. Next, we simply have uh, two pieces of channel that are connected back to back to make sort of an I-beam kind of setup. This is a fairly cheap and easy thing to do. All, need, all you need are the two channels and some screws and some nuts, and uh, you have yourself a nice rigid uh, setup. And the best part is you have really easy access to the insides for accessing the rest of your project. And finally, the most durable, strongest, uh, most rigid setup uh, that we've used is boxing in the channel um, end to end like this using channel connector plates and using standoffs on the inside. So the combination of those gives you a really rigid, really strong setup. In fact, uh, we've even used uh, setups like this to build bikes and things that you ride on. So it can really support a lot of weight uh, when it's set up in that manner. 